Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to start off by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, Yahweh, the Wahans, to the apostles and elders of Yeshua, that rule well. And salutations to you, I can, that are out there in the highways and the byways, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. And uh, today's lesson, you know, today's topic is going to be about uh, how basically the, the, the same people, you know, the, this whole society, you know, is, is the same that, that, that was back, uh, back in the day, you know, in the times of Noah. In the times of Lot, you know, uh, in the times of, of the Apostle, Apostle Paul, and, and you know, Peter and all of them, you know, it's, it's the same people, you know. And uh, I'm going to start off with this scripture. This is uh, Luke 17 and uh, 26. It says, And as it was in the days of, of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. So now, uh, if somebody could get a... Genesis 6, starting at 5. Okay. You know, so, so we can see how, how people were, you know, in the, uh, in the days of Noah. You know, to further explain, like, how it is that, 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 that these people are, are the same. You know? Uh, this, this is Genesis chapter 6, verse 5. It says, And Most High saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continue and, and there you go you know and, and these people that's what they do and this generation they do the exact same thing matter of fact even worse you know they they, they, they all follow their, their own vain opinion you know now not not like like this society goes more about about uh what how people feel more than 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 than, than facts you know more, more than truth you know that's what the society pushes you know and it is the same thing they were, they were they were doing back then in the days of Noah. That, that's what the Most High brought uh, uh, brought in the flood, you know. Uh, keep going. It says <clears throat> verse <clears throat> verse six. It says, and it repented Yahweh that He made man on the earth, and it grieved Him as His heart. And Yahweh said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and creeping thing, and the fowls of the air, for it repented me that I had made them. You know, hey, so, uh, you know, how much more on uh, uh, this generation? You know, the most high is, is, is uh, what does it say? Uh, uh, I believe it's in Amos. Uh, uh, the eyes of uh, the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom. You know? So hey, he 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 still has this the same you know even even a, a greater hatred, man. You know, like these these motherfuckers are, are clean contrary going going against the Most High. You know, what, what you have a uh, 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 you know first it was uh, gay, then lesbian, then then bisexual. Now you have transgenders and 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 non-genders and gender this and gender that. Pedophilia. You know, hey, uh, pedophilia. You know, like uh, all this madness, man. So you, you don't think the Most High is gonna come back and and, and and get rid of this society? Nah, hey, you're wrong, man. He is, man. Uh, go go to uh, skip down to verse eleven. Uh, verse eleven. It says the earth also was corrupt before the Most High, and the earth was filled with violence. Hey, the earth was filled with violence, man. You know, hey, all, all these people that are, are, are like a, a bunch of murderers, man. You know, hey, 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 these people will kill you over a par a parking spot, man. Just a parking spot, man. These people are, are completely wicked, man. You know, uh, keep going. And the Most High looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. You know, hey, it's, it's the same generation, man. The, the, the same thing that happened back then is happening today. If anything, today is way worse. You know, that's that's what the Most High is, is, is going to bring that great judgment. You know, the scriptures always talk about that great day of the Lord, man. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't emphasize great for no reason. <clears throat> it's exactly what that's going to be, man. Why? Because these people are wicked, man. I don't believe so Isaiah 4 and verse 1 it says, Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, no, no mercy, no knowledge of God in the land. It's by swearing, 
and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, it says they break out and blood touches blood. It's like the brother was getting to, man. It's the same things that was going on in the past, man. All right, it's the same things that's going on now. Hey, just like uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and 6, hey, man. You know, or, or 1 and 9, Salakia, man. You know? Hey, because, hey, just like now, man, you got people committing adultery, man. All right, these niggas out here land with wives that have, land with, like, land with women that have men, husbands, you know, hey, hey, killing each other, man. All right, hey, hey, Jake was doing the same thing back then, hey. Getting married, you know, hey, just not being in the right mindset. It was all the same thing, hey, just, just in the times of Noah, you know? Go ahead. Okay, okay. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm going to go back to that, uh, to Luke, now verse uh, 27. It says, they did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that, that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. You know, and that's what these people are doing. You know, they, 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 they have all this war going around the world, and, and, and what are they doing? Partying, chilling, mm -hmm. you know, having fun, you know, so to speak, you know? Hey, but hey, that's what, that's why, what does it say? That the Most High is going to come, what? As a thief in the night, mm -hmm. you know? Just, just like he did back then. That's right. What were they doing to know? Uh, rain? Rain? We talking about rain, dude. What, what, what is rain? Yeah. This, this, this man's crazy. <laughs> Let him build the heart. But when, once it started raining and, 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 and and uh, uh, the water started coming from under the earth. You know, they're like, oh, hey, uh, hey no, um, hey, what were you talking about? All right. You know? Like, hey, but, she, you know, they they, they, uh, they died. Why? Because they didn't believe. You know? They, 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 looked, they looked as Noah as, 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 as a fool, man. As, as, as just as a crazy, just like they do today. Yeah. You know, they look as, as fools and, nah, these things are crazy. It's not going to happen. You know? ICBMs, America? America the Great? Nah, y'all tweaking. <laughs> Thanks, <Come on>, man. <laughs> I got a precept if I may. Come on, go ahead. This is uh, Matthew 24 and 36. It says, But of that day and hour know of no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. You know, and so like you know, like the brother is saying, we just broke it down. We went into Genesis on how uh, the people were drinking and marrying and partying and, and and looking at Noah all crazy, man. This is the same thing happening again, man. All right, we go out onto the highways and byways and tell them that this place is about to be destroyed, man. Like the like 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 Lot was told, all right, to leave Sodom and Gomorrah. All right, this is what we're telling these people, man. We're telling them to leave by spiritually coming back to the, well, specifically you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American. We're telling you to leave this place, man, spiritually, so you don't get destroyed with this place. Because the, like the brother said earlier, the Lord is going to remove this place uh, off of the earth, man, for all the wicked things and, and wicked ideas and imaginations that have been done here. And also for the, the blood of the children of Israel, man. You know? I got Come on, me, uh, yeah. It's the book of uh, Jeremiah. <coughs> Chapter 28 and uh, verse 8, the prophets that have uh, been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against uh, great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, man. Hey, and there's no new thing under the sun, man. You know, hey, the prophets of old are, are here uh, are here again today, man. You know, prophesying the same thing, man. War, pestilence, man. You know, the downfall of uh, uh, this kingdom, man, Esau's kingdom, man. You know, it's nothing uh, new under the sun, man. You right. know, but it, it would pop signs of those missiles are going to hit America. You know, like in the days of Noah, hey, it was going to rain, man. Same thing with here, man. Hey, it's, 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 it's going to be missiles, man. But, you know, the people, our people don't believe, man. You know, they think it's a joke, man. Mm -hmm. Until until you, they see the warning on the, on the TV, you know, the, the missiles are like an hour or 30 minutes away and shit. You know, now they're they're gonna want to get right, man. But it's gonna be too late at t at that time, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, yeah, just like back then, man. You you don't think there was there was there was you know niggas trying to get in the ark and shit? You know? Scratching, right. scratching down to their nails, to the skin, right. like oh, let us in, you know? But you know, yeah. nah, man. That's why the Lord closed the damn the ark, man. That's right. Because right. niggas is wicked, man. You want to you work you you believe that uh the Lord is works on your time, man. This is the time to get right, man. This is the Lord. This is the time of mercy that the Lord is showing, man. 
It's not gonna be in that that thirty minutes with, when the, when the, uh, when the missiles when that uh, you get that notification that missiles are coming over here. That's not gonna be the time when you're supposed to get right. All right. All right. People gonna have to learn the hard way, man. Ain't yeah. that bad? It says yeah. seek the Lord before the evil days come, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, kind of, yeah. Uh, First Thessalonians um, chapter 5, uh, uh, verse 1. But the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. You know what I mean? So it's going to come when you least expect it. You know what I'm saying? Verse 3. Uh, for when they say, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. As travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. You know, when you see a woman uh, giving birth to a child, those those birth pains come. You know, every uh, you know periodically. You know, what I'm saying you don't know when it's coming. She doesn't know when it's coming. Just like the Lord's coming, uh, you don't know when he's gonna show up. You know what I mean? So you gotta you gotta be on it. You, know, you gotta you gotta be on your square. And you gotta like the brother said, you gotta seek him. You know, before those terrible days approach. Yeah. That's right. You got anything? Hey, cause with a woman with birth pains, man, it, it, it's what, man? You know, like the brother said, it comes periodically. When she first goes into labor, those birth pains is far and in between. Okay. But the closer she comes to uh, 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 to that baby being born, those birth pains is what, man? Every minute, man. It come quicker and quicker and quicker. And that's like into what? Today. You know? 30 years ago, what? It was birth pains every once in a while, man. You have a situation here. You have a situation here. But no, now you see what? These, those birth pains is happening more periodically, man. That's right. You know? Now you see what? Earthquakes, uproars of the people, right. fires everywhere, man. Now you see what? Pestilence, man. You understand? All the things that the Bible said would happen. You know? Right, hey, rumors of wars? Yeah. You know, how many, uh, hey, rumors of wars have, have been getting worse and worse, man. Yep. <laughs> Fucking Trump, Trump talking shit about North Korea, North Korea talking shit back, Iran, Russia, Turkey. You know, it, <coughs> it just keeps getting worse and worse, man. Yep. You know, man's die off of animals, man. Mm -hmm. This is all prophesied of what, man? Hey, hey, then shall you, uh, 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 um, what it says, uh, uh, how shall I know when thou begins begin to visit? When you see us all these things, man. So the Lord's beginning to visit the Lord, uh, the, uh, uh, the earth that he, that he made, you know? Come on, yes, book of uh, Luke. Chapter 6 and verse um, 25, and it reads, Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye uh, shall mourn and weep, man. Hey, so that's what uh, two-thirds of our people are doing right now, man. They're laughing, living uh, life up to the fullest, man. You know, hey, rejecting this word, man. Thinking nothing is going to happen, man. Out there marrying, you know, going to parties. <laughs> and just like in the days of Noah, man. But hey, later on, man, hey, our people are going to be... Uh, crying, mourning, you know, hey, once it, when, 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 once shit gets hard out here, man, once shit gets real out here, man, you know what he so, man, it's like, and saying, laugh now, uh, uh, cry later, man, you know, that's what two-thirds of our people are going to be doing, man, <laughs> they're living it up to the photos, but hey, there's no later on, man, y'all going to be crying, man, you know, especially you tough, you people that think you're tough, man, you're going to be breaking down like a little girl, man, you might even answer a cry bit a little bit. Yeah, that's right. Um, oh, sorry. Is that cool? Get back to brother up. This is Isaiah chapter 65. I'm going to start at um, verse 12. Therefore I would number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil before my eyes. Right? And we said, you know, wickedness has increased even from the ancient times. Right? And did choose that where wherein I delighted not. You know what I mean? Because you guys don't know the Lord. You know what I mean? You guys do as you thought will type of spirit, you know? Yeah, and it says, it says what, man? That uh, uh, you didn't do what the Lord pleased, man. And you would ask yourself, well, how do I know what, how to please the Lord? Well, Baruch 4 and 4 says what? Happy are we, Israel, because uh, 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 how to please the Lord is made known unto us. Roughly paraphrasing, man. Mm. So how are you supposed to do, man? You, hey, you're supposed to renew yourself, man, with this word, man. Oh, yes. Yeah, so Why? Because it says, it, it says what, man? What the brother just read. It says that you chose wherein the Lord delighted not, man. So when, so it, it, here it is. It's presented to you the right way. It's presented to you how to please the Lord. And you rejected it, man. And you rejected it. Why? Because it says, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be. You know? Okay. Oh, everyone, 
Isaiah 65 and 13. Now, therefore, thus saith the Lord power, behold, my servants shall eat. Hey, because it's all about a renewal of your mind, man. Because mm -hmm. we read the Genesis 6 and it says what? That man's heart was wicked continually. And that's why the Lord sent the flood, man. Because niggas wouldn't change in their wickedness, man. You see? That's why Proverbs says, lean not to thy own understanding, man. But trust in Yahweh by Sham Shai. Why is that? Because Jeremiah 17 says the heart is the sequel above all, man. Yeah. So we got to renew our minds according to what? This knowledge, man. Romans 12 and 2. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed with the renewing of your minds. That you may prove what is that good and acceptable will of the Most High. So you can know how to please Him, man. Um, so I keep wrong. That was, that was beautiful. Uh, Isaiah, back in Isaiah 65 and 13, thus saith the uh, thus saith the Lord power, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. You know what I mean? Because like the, the brother brought out in that one scripture, you guys are full now, laughing now. But when Jacob's trouble come, you, you don't know what to do because you didn't prepare yourself, man. You don't even know what's oil. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna you're gonna die. You're gonna pine away. Um, you know what I'm saying because it says you know um, in Matthew, you know what I'm saying that the Lord comes for those who are sick. You know what I'm saying and the ones that need not a physician. You know. I see. I just got one for you. It says Matthew 16 and 16. Yeah. This is uh this is Matthew chapter nine <clears throat> verse twelve. It says, but when Yahweh Shai heard that. He said unto them, they that behold need not a physician, but they that are sick. You know what I'm saying? So the ones that are uh, that are whole are you ones that's uh, laughing right now. You know what I'm saying? But you all are going to cry later because the Lord said he's coming for those who are sick, man. You know? That's right. Yeah. Come, come. This is um, Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 5. It says, there is an evil which I have seen under the sun. It says, as an error which proceeded from the ruler, it says, folly is set in great dignity. It says, and the rich sit in low place. All right. You know, it's all like, like the brother was getting to just in the days of Noah, man. It said they was a giving to marriage, man, drinking, eating. All right. Doing all, all manner of folly, man. You know, even in the scriptures, it says in Second Peter's, man, a, uh, what manner of man we ought to be, man. You know, seeing all these things should be dissolved. It was going even back into Noah's time. Hey, seeing all these things should be flooded, man. And what manner of persons all the men should have been. All right, but hey, guess what? These these guys was indulged in all kinds of folly, you know, and madness, man. All right, just like today, man. All right, you got Esau pushing all this uh this wickedness, man. You know, his 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 uh laws, man. All right, his television, you know what I'm saying? His, his, his programs on his TVs, man. His his his, his school education. All right, you know, a his society, man, is all formed all wickedness, man. All right, and here it is, a just as in they know, you got all these people around the world living a life in vain, man. All right, probably, man, and the Lord is coming back with vengeance, man. All right, to to, to, to destroy this place, you know. Hey, that's right. I'm uh, <coughs> we're gonna go back to this Luke. This is Luke 17. Now, now, verse uh, uh, twenty-eight. You know, because hey, this, this, this is the same generation over and over and over and over, man. So, so now, now it goes into the time of Lot. Verse twenty-eight. Likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat and drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. It says, but the same day that Lot went out of Sodom. Now, now, now. When we go back to uh, somebody could get Genesis 18 and uh, and 20, you know, it, 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 it explains it, man. It explains how 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 those people work, you know. 18 and 20. Con, Con this book of uh, Genesis, chapter 18, verse 20, and it reads, um, and Yahweh said because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is very grievous. Hey, th their sin is very grievous, man. You know they were they were doing all kinds of abominations, man. Hence the name Sodom, man. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> hey, 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 what uh, what does America push? Sodom. Hey, I, yeah. 
to everything. the maximum. Everything to the maximum. <laughs> you know, sodomites have more have more rights than 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 a uh, than a straight man. Yeah. You know, they, they they get to have better jobs and and and, and easier for them to get jobs. Yep. You know, then Jake, Jake. Yeah, the, the regular you know man that's just just straight. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. it's, it's it's the same thing, man. That's why, uh, what does it say? I believe the Revelation is 11. You know, uh, uh, spiritual Eda, spiritual Sodom. You know, that, that's how you know it's, it's the same people. They're doing the, same, the exact same thing, man. Mm-hmm. You know, wisdom, wisdom of Sodom tells you what? Changing your kind. You know, they do that, they do that shit here, man. You know, here it is. Uh, 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 you can have an actual problem, they'll charge you all this type of money. Just to fix that problem, you know, surgery and all that. But if you just wanna, you just wanna turn yourself. To, uh, you're a man. You wanna turn turn yourself into a woman. They they, they actually pay you for it. They actually have have uh, programs. So so you know you, you won't have to pay anything. You know, you're just complete madness, man. You know. Now um, go to go to uh, chapter nineteen, verse fourteen. You know. Oh. It's the, it's, it's, it's the same spirit, man. The, 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 the same, the same vibration. Uh, nineteen and fourteen. Book of Judges, nineteen and fourteen. And Lot went out and spake unto his son-in-law, which married his daughters, and said, "Get," and even said, "Up, get you out of this place, for the for Yahweh will destroy this city." But he seemed as one that mocked unto his sons in law. Hey, and that's everybody in, in the society. When we're out there in the house in the Bible, we tell you that the, the, the destruction is coming. You know, mm-hmm. turn back to the Lord. You know, but follow the, uh, uh, you Israelites, you so-called black Latin, black Latinos and Native Americans. Follow the law, statutes, and the commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Turn back to your heritage. But what do they do? <laughs> Y'all would shake the hand off at us. Right. You know, but ultimately, you know, you're just you're just you're just shaking your hand and, and saying, uh, forget the most high. You know, it doesn't even matter about us, man, because we're just the messengers. But ultimately, we're, we're we're the messengers being sent to give you the words of, of, of the most high, man, the creator, man, Yahweh. All right. So if you if you neglect the words that we tell you, you're neglecting the words that the most high is giving you for salvation, man. That's like saying, man, uh, that's like the most high telling you, okay, I'm going to save you out of this fire. And you say, oh, I don't care about that. So you, the world is just going to burn your ass up, man. So that's that's how most of our people think, man. Just bugged out of their mind. They don't care about nothing anymore. It's, just, it's, just, it's, just, it's complete madness, man. They don't com- they don't care about the madness going on in this place. It doesn't vex them at all, man. Our people are just okay with wickedness, man. They they, they turn, they're, they're worse than the heathen now, man. There's even heathens saying they're tired of this society and that is madness. But our people just think this shit is normal, man. Hey, that, that, that's, what, that's what it says in uh, Ezekiel uh, uh, 9. You know, if a brother, brother wants to get it, uh, starting at verse 4. You know, those that sigh and cry. If you're not sighing and crying, what's going to happen to you? You're going to get killed. You're going to get destroyed. You know, only the ones that they, they aren't comfortable and, and, and uh, aren't with all the madness that society is pushing, those are the ones that are going to get saved. You know, everybody else is gonna get killed. They, cause they, 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 they with the form of this world, like the Romans twelve and two we quoted earlier, man. Mm-hmm. Be not conformed to this world. The word conform, con means with form. You're with the form. You're with the way of this world, man. The Lord said, hey, what friendship with the world is enmity with the Most High. You know, so if you with the form of this world, if you with the image of this world, man, hey, that's against the Lord, man. It says what, man? Be ye transformed with the renewing of your mind. You know? So now that we understand and we realize that we're in a fucked up situation, what should we do? What manner of men ought we to be? We should be doing what? Crying and sighing. Why? For all the abominations that's done in the midst thereof. Lot was delivered out of uh, 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 out of Sodom. It says what? In, in the book of Peter. It says that righteous man vexed. With the conversation of the wicked. He was vexed daily, man. Seeing all those faggots and all that madness that they was doing, man. You know? It goes back to the law in Deuteronomy 22nd chapter, man. 
Lord said he likened the, uh, 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 the nation of Israel to a comely and delicate woman. Here it is in Deuteronomy 22. There's a, uh, uh, there's a law on rape, man. We as a nation, as that comely and delicate woman is being raped. So if you're not calling out, that means you're consenting. You see? Go ahead, brother. Will somebody has it, Ezekiel? Uh, I may get this directly, what you quoted. This is uh, 2 Peter 2 and 7. And did, and did deliver just lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. It says, for that righteous man dwelling among them in seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with the unlawful deeds. You know, <laughs> the same thing with us, you know. We're, 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 we're uh, that, that righteous lot, you know, seeing and hearing all, all these wicked, this wicked is going on. Every time you, you go on the internet, just so mad at that, what the fuck, oh, come on, man. Now this shit, you know, just when you think it can't get worse, it does, you know. Mm -hmm. The same thing, man, is the, the, the same generation, you know. Uh, go ahead. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. It says, And Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Hey, who's that? That's us. Um, you know, we're the ones who uh, complain uh, uh, of all this wickedness. You know, we're the ones who are uh, sighing and crying, you know, uh, you know, praying to Yahweh Bashimi, how Shai to, you know, how Shai now of my heart, man. You know? Go ahead. It says, uh, verse 5, it says, And to the others he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark. You know, hey, so hey, how are you guys are going to get it, man? Mm -hmm. From, 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 from the, the youngest to the, to the oldest, man. You know? If you're not with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, hey, that's unto you, man. This is uh, this First Peter chapter four, verse seventeen. It says, "For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh, and if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High?" You know what I'm saying? So the thing is that if you're not crying a sign and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Judgment's coming to you, man, because you, you, uh, because you, uh, you disbelieve, man. You know what I'm saying? You don't obey, uh, you know what I'm saying? All you care, all you care about is, uh, uh, the, the ways of this world, man. You know? Well, like the brother said earlier, you know, in, in, in James 4 and 4, which is enmity with the most high, man. You know? I can tell something for you. Second Chronicles 15 and 13. It says that whosoever would not seek Yahweh, power of Israel, should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. Man. You see? So if you're not seeking Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai, man, if you're not calling out, if you're not crying out, if you're not seeking for justice, if you're not seeking for righteousness, if you're not vexed at all the wickedness that's going on on this planet, man, hey, well, guess what? You're going to die in the midst of all this madness, man. You see? Because the Lord is looking for men to sigh and cry, man. The Lord is looking for men to cry unto him, man. You know? The Bible says that... The, 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 uh, let me get this real fast. This is uh, 2nd Edris. This is 2nd Edris 15 and 8. It says, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually, man. You see? So that's what we should be doing, man. You know, the Lord told us what? Can a brother get Isaiah? What's that? Isaiah 62 and 6. It might be verse 8. Isaiah 62, verse 6, verse 8. It says, The Lord hath sworn by his right hand, it says, And by the arm of his strength, surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thine enemies. 
It says, And the son, the sons of the stranger shall not drink thy wine for that which thou hast labored. Verse 6 says, I have set thee watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that seek, ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. That's it, man. You know, it says what, man? That they, they shall not hold their peace day nor night. You know, it says, they that they shall not hold their peace day nor night. They that make mention of the Lord, keep not silent, man. So we're going to continue to call and cry out. Keep going. It says, and give him your rest till he establish, it's like, till he establish, mm -hmm. and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. And give him no mm -hmm. rest. Who is that speaking of? It's speaking about Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. We ought to give the Lord no rest until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth, man. You see? So we ought to do what? Sigh and cry and cry out. Because if you're not, guess what? You're comfortable, man. I mean, you're consenting with the way this world is. And what you're going to do if you consent? You're going to be giving unto marriage. You're going to be giving in marriage. You're going to be partying and eating and living it up, man. Because you're comfortable, man. Because you're consenting. You're with the way of this world, man. You're cool with how this, this world flows, man. And that's why the scripture says, uh, Psalm 97 and 10 says, Ye that love the Lord hate evil, man. Hey, the, the ones that's in this truth are in that belief, you know, in truth and in sincerity, man. And we hate evil, man. Like the brother said, vex. I mean, a lot of being vexed with the, with the evil deeds daily, man. All right? Hey, that's, that's going, hey, righteous man, hey, it says, uh, uh, he, um, the man shall fall in his lot. I'm butchering it, you know. Hey, but hey, the, 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 the life is the same man as back today, man. All right? And those men are going to hate evil, man. Okay, I, I got you. This is uh, Sirach 15 and uh, thir 13. It says, Yahweh hated all abomination, and they that fear Yahweh love it not. You know? So, hey, we're going to be the same way, man. Whatever the, the Most High hates, we hate. You know? Perfect example. Like the Maccabees, man. They grew up soon once they grew up, man, they seen how wicked how wicked the society was they was living in, man. All right, and they started going against it, man. You know? Yeah. I it's, a, it's a book of uh first Corinthians chapter one, verse twenty one. And you read, For after that in the wisdom of the most high, the world by wisdom knew not the most high, how about you know, hey, so hey, this world, man, doesn't doesn't know wisdom, man. You know, uh, they know nothing about folly, man. You know, uh, how to prosper in this society. You know, we're just none, none of that is wisdom. You know, how to roll a blunt or you know, it's folly as shit. You know what I'm saying? That, that's not wisdom, man. You know. I got you right here, bro. I'm gonna put the show brag and how to curl. The it's a rock 19 and 22. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. Neither at any time the counsel of sinners prudence, you know. So what it is, it says, it says what man? They they, they, they knew not the most high man. Cause why? Cause these guys go off the wisdom of this world, and the wisdom in this world is what wickedness. Right. And we just read it right here. It says it's not wisdom, man. Cause it says what? And uh, uh, um, to do good they have no knowledge, but to do evil they have knowledge. That all people have this knowledge of wickedness, man. You know. Because if you did know the Most High, then you would have this wisdom. Then you would have the hour shot. Then you would be signing and crying because you will see what state the world is in. You will state you will see what state our people is in, man. You would know the mindset of our Lord and Savior. What's that? Psalm seven and eleven, if I'm not mistaken. It says what, man? That the Most High is angry with the wicked every day, man. The Lord is coming back to uh, to bring a, 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 a hell of a judgment, man. He's coming back to render a reward to all people. Somebody going to get a reward for the deeds that they did in their flesh for righteousness. And somebody going to get a reward for the deeds they did in their flesh in wickedness, man. Okay. That's right. I got a precept to back you up. Hey, what was Noah's reward, man? He received salvation. Him and his household. What was the rest of those niggards' reward, man? They were they received condemnation. That's right. Drowned horribly, man. 
No, them sea creatures ain't good that day, boy. <laughs> just uh, I just Going back into the Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 21. For after that, in the wisdom of the Most High, the world uh, by wisdom knew not the Most High. It pleased the Most High by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe, man. Hey, so it's going to look foolish, man, you know? Kind of just like in the days of Lot, in the days of Noah, man. You know, they were out there prophesying and warning the people of what's to come. You know, letting the people know, hey, man, don't commit adultery. You know, hey, hey, grow out your beard. You know, hey, come back into your how about Shemiel Shaman, turn from your wicked ways, man. Hey, this place is about to be destroyed. You know, and, and the people looked at them like, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? They look at us, you know, people in this society look at, look at us upside down, man, you know? You know what I mean? They make fun of you because you have a beard, because you don't eat pork, man. You know, because you don't eat crab shit, lobster. Hey, we read it. It said what? That uh, uh, uh his son-in-law, Lot's son-in-law, it says what? When he came and told him that the place was going to be destroyed, man, that hey, hey, we got to leave. What did it say? It said that, that he was like unto one that mocked. So they thought he was joking. He was bullshit. Like, come on, man, nigga. Come on, man. What you talking about? Same thing back then, man. Mm -hmm. Noah telling him it's going to rain. They like, what the fuck is rain, nigga? Water finna fall from the sky. What? This nigga talking about water finna fall from the sky. <laughs> Fuck is wrong with this dude? Kind. That's how they looked at it, man. Right. Guess what? Until that big ass drop fell right on that forehead. Just imagine, <laughs> man. That motherfucking mind opened up then, man. All right. That's right. You see? Mm -hmm. Hey, so this is it's gonna be the same thing. When those missiles are shot off, man. When those missiles is in the sky coming, a lot of you fucking people gonna look and be like, oh shit. These niggas was telling the truth the whole time, man. Considering they have been the proper one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's going to happen before we end, man, because you're going to have different situations that's going to take place. Right. You know? But ultimately, man, all you people is going to know once those missiles shot off, man. That's right. Kind of like, you know, so like if I can say something, uh, you know, so it, it, like, it, it's going to look foolish, man. But, you know, hey, uh, knowing the terror of the how about Shimmy, how shy, man. You know, like that one scripture says, hey, we, we persuade men, you know? You know, we, we persuade the elect, man. You know? Uh, mm. this, uh, this, uh, this James chapter 2, verse 3, it says, And ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing, and say unto him, Sit thou here in a good place, and say to the poor, Stand thou there, and sit here under my footstool. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes down to uh, Esau, even so-called white men, all these heathens, so what they bring out, you know what I'm saying? These different gifts that's destroying your heart and stuff, you you uh, willingly listen to them, you know what I'm saying? But when you had the men of the Lord out there and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And they are uh, giving you that, that actual good money, you know what I'm saying? The, the riches that, that uh, uh, gives you a better reward than uh, 401ks and stuff, you know what I'm saying? You reject it, man, you know what I'm saying? Because it don't look nice to you, man, you know? Uh, this is uh, Ezekiel chapter 5. Uh, I'm going to start at uh, verse 5. It says, Thus saith Yahweh Power, this is Jerusalem. I have set it in the midst of the nations and countries that are round about her. And she hath changed my judgments into wickedness more than the nations, and my statutes more than the countries that are round about her. For they have refused my judgments and my statutes, they have not walked in them. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, because ye multiplied more than the nations that are round about you, and have not walked in my statutes, neither have kept my judgments, neither have done according to the judgments of the nations that are round about you. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of power, Behold, I, even I, am against thee, and will execute judgments in the midst of thee in the sight of the nations. And that's what's going to happen to Israel, man. All right, that's what's going to happen. And when Jacob's trouble comes, that's going to start it off, man. For all this wickedness, man. Cause, and, that, and that also goes back to the fact that you're okay with this wickedness, man. Because you're supposed to be, the, you're supposed to be uh, coming against this wickedness, man. But like I said earlier, our people are completely okay with this wickedness. They even, they even uh, push homosexuality, man. The nigga woman loves homosexuals. All right, you make fun of the, 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 the damn homosexuals the nigga woman gets on you. 
Now the straight men of our nation, you know, oh man, don't talk about the homosexual. He actually cool as long as he don't mess with. You know what? Like what? Like nigga, he's a faggot, man. There's, that's he's not in his right mind. Well, how is that okay, man? And that means you're with the shit. Come. On. Yeah. And, and and that's and just, that just proves that, like we said earlier, these are the same people, man. The same people that that, that never hearken to the Lord. All right, nothing is new under the sun, man. So when that when that time comes, when when death is in front of you. You can't say that you weren't warned, man. You can't say you can't say because the apostles and elders have been on the highways and byways for 30, 40 plus years, man. Hey, the, and the scripture say that the Lord sends his, sends his prophets early, man. Right in, in the morning rising, uh, you know, so that people, so that nobody can be like, oh, well, Lord, uh, you know, you just so, nah, man. <laughs> you know, He <laughs> gave you enough times to repent. You you re you rejected it all those times. You know, this uh, this um, Revelation chapter twenty-two, verse eleven. It says, "He that is unjust, let him be unjust still, and he which is filthy, let him be filthy still." You know, so, so pretty much, you know, uh, like like brother was saying that pretty much uh, all the uh, evil spirits back then. You know what I'm saying? You all still uh, still here to this day, man. You know what I'm saying? And you all got the same spirit of rejection. You know, and it says. Uh, it says, and, and he that is righteous, let him be righteous still, and he that is holy, let him be holy still. You know what I'm saying? So there are spirits that's gonna always going to be holy, and there are spirits that's always going to be wicked, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, And they're going to come back in the light, like the, uh, the brother said before. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get this. This is uh, Revelation chapter 22, verse 11. Nevertheless, as concerning the tokens... Behold, that they shall come, that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. You know? Hey, and this is a... Hey, what does it say? Uh, uh, what do you how I say? Uh, uh, when I come, shall faith be found on the earth? Uh, roughly paraphrasing it. You know? Because hey, these people don't believe in shit. You know? This is just a faithless-ass generation. Verse 2, it says, But iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest, or that thou has heard long ago. You know, and, and this is in the time of Esther's, man. You know, so how much more today? You know? The, the, uh, uh, hey, and iniquity is at all time high, man. You know? I'm, I'm going to skip down to verse uh, 8. It says, There shall be a confusion also in many places. And the fire shall be off sent out again. And the wild bees shall change their places. And mentions women shall bring forth monsters. You know, hey, and there's confusion everywhere, man. You know, and it was it mentions women shall bring forth monsters. You know, all these little, all these, uh, these little niggas out there, man. You know, they just keep getting worse and worse. As we have niggas like fucking uh, 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 Takashi 6 9 and and little pump and you know all the all the mother niggas, you know. Uh, verse nine it says, and salt water shall be found in in the sweet. Uh, uh, and it's not about knowledge, not the knowledge that they push out is is, is not going to be real knowledge, you know. It says, uh, and all friends shall destroy one another, you know, and then shall wait hide itself and understanding will draw itself into the secret chambers. You know, hey, and and you really don't have friends out here, man. Every everybody in this society is is this for themselves. You know, that's what you always hear about about constant betrayals. You know, oh yeah, I used to have this friend, but he did this or she did that, and you constantly hear about it, hear about that in this society, man. You know, there's there, there's no there's no uh, uh, real uh, brotherhood in this society. The real brotherhood is right here in this truth. And there's no real humility in this society. Mm -hmm. At all, like these people are complete, completely demonic, man. Like I, like before I was in the truth, man. You could just tell these people don't give a fuck about each other, man. They can be friends for like ten years and still not give a fuck about each other, and you know it's just like <laughs> that. Just that just pushes on the wickedness, man. Because like you said, everybody is for themselves. Well, and, that goes for the scripture. Yeah, I was trying to say what, man. Hey, hey, the love of many shall wax cold, and you see it taking place. You know, 
like a brother just read in the address and said, uh, 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 salt water shall be found in the sweet. You know? That's what, man. He, he, he saw mixing uh, uh, truth with lies. You know what I'm saying? Salt is the bitter water. It's the lies. The sweet water is the truth. You know? So it said it's going to be mixed, man. It's going to be a confusion out here, man. You know? That's right. Brother said all friends shall destroy one another. Hey, why? Hey, hey, that's the Egyptian versus the Egyptian. That's one nation standing up to fight against another nation, man. You know? Because not only is it going to be a race riot, but it's going to be a, a, a war within even in those races, man. Because people are going to be able uh, about what, man? About themselves. Like the brother, uh, like Rahum just said. It's all about a me first mentality, man. See, these people out here, they only going to worry about themselves and their families. You see? And it says, what? Then shall wit hide itself. Understanding shall uh, uh, withdraw itself into a secret corner. That's what, man? Hey, that's the famine of the word. Lord said, I will send a famine, uh, uh, not of not of uh, bread and water, which that's coming too. But he said, of, uh, of hearing the words of the Lord, man. So when all hell break loose, man, hey, 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 the men of the Lord ain't going to be out there on the highways and hedges, man. That's when those doors of repentance are going to be clutched, uh, closed shut, man. Hey, Noah couldn't open those doors once those doors were shut. Same thing is going to happen take place in this era, man. Once the Lord closed those doors, it's a wrap. The Bible says, who can open what he has shut? Roughly paraphrasing. You know? This is uh, verse 10, back in uh, 2nd Ezra 5 and 10. It says, and shall be sought of many, and yet not be found. Mm -hmm. then yeah, the book of Isaiah says what? <laughs> there should be a cry for wine in the streets. They shall travel to one city to another, from the east and to the west, to hear the word of the Lord, and shall not find it, man. Why? Because it's too late. Because you didn't take heed. When the prophets was telling you to seek the Lord while he may be found, call upon him while he is near. You didn't seek the Lord in the days that I used before the evil days come, like it says in Ecclesiastes 12. It says, Then shall unrighteousness and incontinency be multiplied upon the earth. You know, and when you look up that word incontinency, it goes back to lack of self-restraint. You know, having having no morals, no standards. You know, just doing whatever the fuck comes, comes to your mind. You know, mm -hmm. just like in the days of Noah. You know, the, 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 the right. thought of man was, was uh, evil continued. You know, it's, it's the same people, man. Yeah, and it all works to your mind. Because if, if their minds was evil continually, then what was they speaking? What was their actions? You see? Mm -hmm. Because the Lord said what? Through the abundance of the heart, through the abundance of your mind, the mouth speaketh, man. Mm -hmm. So the words that you speak is all according to your mind. You see? So that's why the Lord said every idle word, man. And then according to your mind is how you react and how you carry yourself, how you act. The Lord said, know ye not to whom you yield your members to, that's who you're serving unto, man. So if you yield your members, if you yield your actions unto sin, then you are serving unto sin. Why? Because you ain't been cleansed in your mind. But if you are serving unto rights, this meaning you are serving unto Yahweh Shai, meaning you are serving unto this wisdom, mean what, man? That you know what's pleasing unto the Lord. You see? Do it up. Uh, uh, Baruch, this is Baruch chapter 1, verse 21. Nevertheless, we have not hearkened unto the voice of the Lord our power, according unto all the words of the prophets whom he sent unto us. So this is nothing new, you know what I'm saying? We've been doing this, you know, Lord willing, every lifetime, you know, trying to wake up our people. Verse 22, but every man followed what? The imagination of his own wicked heart, man. Right? To serve strange gods and to do evil in the sight of the Lord our power, man. So the Lord, he, he has a record of all of this, man. He has a record of all your wickedness. And you're going to pay for all that. You know what I'm saying? You know, because you're, you're refusing the Lord, man. You're refusing to get right. You know? You, you, you rather seek death than life. This is, this is our Acts 2 and 40. And with many other words that he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from the, this untoward generation. You know, 
and, and that, that's in the time of, of, of Rome, man, with, with Apostle Peter and, 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 and Paul, you know. I, when you look at that word on Torah, it means wicked, it, wicked, and just, just, you know, the, the exact same generation as, as today, mm -hmm. you know. Just a bunch of wicked fucking monsters, man. I got a precept. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 1. It says, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Also thou, son of man, thus saith the Lord power unto the land of Israel, and end, the end is come upon the four corners of the land. Now is the end come upon thee. I will send mine anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and I will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. And mine eyes shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity. But I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thine abomination shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, power and evil, and only evil, behold, is come. You know, and that's what's coming to the nation of Israel, as well as the heathens, man. When he totally uh, destroyed this place, man, for all the abominations that are done here, man. Like, nothing can inhabit this place after all the things that have been uh, done in this place, man. There's all types of wickedness going on right now. But the, but the powerful thing is there's all kinds of righteousness going on right now by us doing the, uh, these videos all over the four corners of the earth. So it's just, it's just, it's, it's, there's, it's obvious who, who wants to get out of here, man. And it's obvious who wants to just be put to death for their wickedness. You know? Can you jump over to 21 and 9? Ezekiel? Oh, sorry. Kind of. This is Ezekiel chapter 21, verse 9. It says, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord, Say, a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Shall we then make mirth? Shall we then be happy? Shall we then be what? Eating and drinking, giving in marriage? Shall we then be partying? What shall we be doing, man? Shall, shall we be sighing and crying and being in a mournful state, being in a repentable state, and asking the Lord to pass over our sins? Or should we just boldly and, and, and pridefully just motherfucking just walk without fear and act like everything cool and everything straight? Party at the Passover. You see what I'm saying? Hold that. Can you get that, Peter? Second Peter 3, verse 10. It says, I'm starting verse 9, it says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some man count slackness, but is long suffering towards usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a deep in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are in it shall be burnt up. Seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are we to be in all holy conversations and godliness? Exactly, man. So seeing that all this about to come upon this place, that's about to come upon our people. What manner of people ought we to be in all holy conversation and godliness, man? Like I said in Ezekiel, should we then make mirth? Now that we know that all this destruction, all these calamities is coming upon this place, man? Shall we be partying and having fun and kicking it? Like we know we got a spot on those ships or something, man? How should we be? This is Ecclesiastes 7 and 2. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. For that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Man, see the house of feasting, what? Giving in marriage, eating, right? It says what, man? It's the end of all men. Verse 3. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better, man. The mind is through the sadness of the continents, man. You understand? It's better. That's why it's better to be in a house of mourning. Because you're in that mournful, repentful state. Guess what? Now you're able to uh, uh, suck with yourself and think of things, man. And meditate upon different things. You see? When you're in that joyful, cheerful state, what's happening, man? A lot of things go over your head. You don't pay attention. You don't sit and analyze and meditate on things. You worried about what? The, 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 the next line I'm about to grab, man. The next brother we gonna go kick it with. No, man. That's why 
why they didn't consider it. Why? Because they was in the house of feasting, man. And that's why that, that flood came upon them as a thief. They didn't consider it in Sodom and Gomorrah either. That's why that fire came upon them as a thief, man. Why? Because they was in the house of feasting. Instead of being in the house of mourning, man. Being in the house of mourning, meaning what? That you're signing crime for the abominations that's done in the midst. Meaning you're vexed daily at the uh, conduct of, the, of this world, man. That means you're able to sit back, analyze, and think about different things, you know? Jump back to that Ezekiel, unless anybody got any scripture. Yeah. Okay, this is uh, Ezekiel chapter 21, verse 10. It says, It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? Right, it is sharpened that it may glitter. Picture this in your mind, man. It says it is furbished. When you furbish something, man, what is polished, it's shining, it's sharp. It's like you furbish a machine. Meaning you 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 put that machine back to what? It's it's it's, it's original working capabilities. When you furbish something, it's like it's brand new all over again. You know what I'm saying? Like a furbished engine. That engine was furbished, meaning the parts was put on, it's a new working engine now. You see what I'm saying? So this is a furbished sword, man. That motherfucker is polished. It's sharpened. It's glittering. You see what I'm saying? Picture this in your head, man. This motherfucker is sharp. You know what I'm saying? When you pull out the sword, you know in movies where they pull out the sword, it got the little the, the sparkle to it, the whole the, the whole yeah, sparkle true. line going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the sparkling on the sword and shit, that motherfucker raw as hell, boy. You gotta picture it in your head, man. Hey, this sword. Go ahead, bro. It says, um, it says, it contemned the rod of my son as every tree. Mm -hmm. It, it, it contemned the rod of my son as every tree. What, hey, the Lord, uh, uh, it, it goes back to what uh, uh, John told uh, the Israelites, man, in, 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 uh, 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 in Matthew the second, the third chapter, I think. He said, what, man, the axe is laid to the root of every tree, man. So if that if that tree not producing, guess what? It's going to get cut down. Mm. But that says what the the, the 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 sword is upon what the uh, 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 the rod of the trees, man. So basically, it's saying what that Israel will get their ass cut down. Go ahead. Verse eleven it says, and he hath given it to be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give in to give it into the hand of the slayer. And who is the slayer, man? Esau, Edom. You see. So that's why we're warning our people what? That this sword is coming, man. Should we then make mirth? That's why we're warning our people why? That destruction, calamities, famine, all this is coming. Shall we then party and have a good time? Shall we be uh, 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 marrying, giving in marriage, eating and drinking? Shall we be doing that, man? The Bible tells us the mindset we should be in, man. The Bible tells us the conduct, how how we should carry ourselves, you know. Uh, uh, this is uh, uh, the book of Amos, uh, I believe, chapter nine, verse ten. All the sinners of my people shall die by what? That glittering sword, by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us, you know. While they sit there thinking that, you know, today's just a new day, we went to this fiesta or this party, and live it up, you know, because you're of this world, man. You know, the Lord has the sword, and it's coming for you. And we're letting you know it's coming, but you guys don't even consider it. You know, that's like uh, Isaiah 1 and 3, you know, Israel just doesn't consider it at all. That's right, and you ain't going to have no power against that sword, man. Sure. But it says it contemns the rod of my son is every tree. You look at that word contemn means despise or think little of, man. Yeah. Rod represents power. So it says what? That that sword is going to contemn the rod of every son. Like you ain't going to have no power against this devil, man. This devil going to be doing whatever the fuck he going to do to you, man. Ezekiel, the 23rd chapter, says what? That they shall judge you according to their own judgments. So when all hell break loose, man, guess what? These people, Esau, Edom, when they come down with great wrath, he's going to do to you to whatever the fuck comes to his mind, man. Because you ain't going to have no cover and no protection. Because you wasn't signed in crime. You didn't have that, that mark uh, uh, of exemption. You didn't have that to walk, man. Stone, man. 
Only those men who are sighing and crying, man. Only those men who are vexed daily. Only those men who are crying out in the names of Yahweh Bashah, Yahweh Shai. Condemning this world, man, to its face. Only those men are going to receive mercy, man. Get a brother, get that in Deuteronomy 22nd chapter. What about you? You, you do what you had? Time. Go ahead, boy. All right, this is uh this second address, chapter 14, verse 13. It says, Now therefore set thy house in order and reprove thy people, comfort such of them as be in trouble, and now renounce corruption. You know what I'm saying? You want to uh renounce corruption, man. You know what I'm saying? Renounce means to give up, man. You know what I'm saying? Because with you giving up corruption, you know what I'm saying, you're uh 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 you hoping to receive uh, incorruption, man. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna do the things that's gonna pertain uh, towards that path, man, you know, and I'm um, skipping to verse uh, uh, 16. It says, For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. You know what I'm saying? You know, so if you're not uh, renouncing that corruption, you know what I'm saying, you're going to be part of those evil things that's going to be upon this earth, man. You know what I'm saying? Because like the brother said, you know, you ain't going to be watching. You know what I'm saying? You're going to uh, you gonna have them, uh, um, those blind men shades on. You know what I'm saying? And not, and not the uh, 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 the shades, uh, uh, like the scripture says in Deuteronomy 6, you know what I'm saying, to be able to see through the darkness, you know, like uh, like Matthew's um, uh, 26 and 41, watching praise, so you won't enter into, temptation, into temptation, man, you know, and what's that temptation, the ways of this world. Can I make your business? Is that cool? This is Sirach, chapter 21, from the top, my son, as thou sinned, do so no more, but ask pardon for thy former sins. Flee from sin as from the face of a serpent. For if thou comest too near it, it will bite thee. And the teeth thereof are as the teeth of a lion, slaying the souls of men. And all iniquity is as, is as a two-edged sword. The wounds whereof cannot be healed. You know what I mean? So, like uh, the scripture says, you know, the wages of, of, of sin is death. You know what I mean? So, leave that alone, man. That's of this world. And, and repent and get right. You know what I mean? And seek life, you know? You go to Deuteronomy if nobody got that. Yeah. This is uh, Deuteronomy 22 and verse 23. If a damsel that is a virgin be betrothed unto an husband, and a man find her in the city and lie with her, then ye shall bring them both out unto the gate of the city, and ye shall stone, stone them with stones that they die. Mm -hmm. The damsel, because she cried not, being in the city and the man because he had humbled his neighbor's wife so right so now the bible says what man that i have likened the daughter of, uh, of zion to a comely and delicate woman so we are that woman that's in the city man and we and what happened We're, we've been taken by force that where rape goes to take by force that's what's been happening to us we're being raped we're being taken by force we're here what are we here through our own consent did we decide to bring our, our ass over here? No, man. You know? It speaks about what? That uh, 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 the captor refused to let, let his captors go? Roughly paraphrasing. So we're being raped, man. So all those that's not crying out, you're going to be worthy of death. Why? Because you're consenting. You're with it. You didn't have a problem with it. Go ahead. It says... So thou should put away evil from among you. It says, verse 25, But if a man find a, a betrothed damsel in the field. Right, because Paul said what, man? I have espoused you unto one husband, man. You know, we're betrothed to Yahweh Shai, you see? Go ahead. And the man force her and lie with her. And the man only that lay with her, it's like it. Then the man only that lay with her shall die. But unto the damsel thou shall do nothing. There is in the damsel no sin worthy of death. For when as when the man rises against his neighbor and slayeth him, even so is this matter. Mm -hmm. For he found her in the field, and the betrothed damsel cried, and there was none to save her. That's it, man. So it says, what is even as a man is, uh, uh, that, uh, it says what? For as when a man rises against his neighbor and slayeth him, even so is this matter. So it's just like when Cain killed Abel. What wrong was in Abel? 
It was none, man. You see? So it's the same thing, man. There's no fault in a woman. Why? Because she cried out. She wasn't with it. She fought it. You see? And it says there was none to save her, man. But guess what? Our Lord and Savior is coming back, man. He said he's going to cry like a travailing woman. Let's grab that, man. What's that? Um, Brother, get Isaiah 42 and 13. 32 and 14? 13. 32 and 13. 42 and 13. Oh, 42. This, this Isaiah chapter 42, verse 13. It says, And Yahweh shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, ye war, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemy. Mm -hmm. So it says what? It shall stir up jealousy, man. Hey, imagine a man hearing his woman getting raped. How fast is he going to come down? How fast is he going to come? How with what, with what anger is he coming with? He hearing, he hearing his woman getting ravaged. She crying out. She screaming. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Keep reading, brother. I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. Now will I cry like a tra travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. And that's what our Lord is coming to do, man. That's what he's coming to do. He said he will cry like a travailing woman. Imagine the anger, man. A travail. Imagine a woman in labor. That's a travailing woman. When she's giving birth, how she's crying out. The Lord said he's going to cry like that, man. You see? Why? Because he in pain? No. He's coming with anger, man. Why? Because of the way you've been treating his woman. The way you've been treating the Israelites, the way you've been treating his earth. Uh, is there more? Oh, uh, we're we'll just um, so talking about the Lord. We're talking about Yahweh Shai when he comes back. This is Matthew chapter ten, verse thirty-four. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword, that furbished sword, you know? He's gonna, he's, he's, man, he's gonna fuck up a lot of people for us, you know what I'm saying? Because they destroyed it, and two-thirds of our own people consented with it, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay what does it say in Isaiah 47, you know? I should not meet thee as a man. Kind. Yeah. You know? Hey, so when he comes, man, they that great destruction, man. A day of darkness, you know, a oh, uh, thick darkness, man, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. What's the scripture? It says, uh, who is this that cometh from Edom? Isaiah 63. Where die yeah. garbage from the Basra. Basra. Yeah. He's going to have his whole Like The thing that these people think, man, they think that the, the Lord is going to come back with in a nice mood, man. Like the, the, like the movies we've seen, man, it's going to be 10 trillion times more terrible than that, man. Hey, because it's amazing because we're telling them things that they haven't heard of. Just like during the time of Noah. Yeah. He was telling them that it was going to rain. It was something they never heard of. They never experienced it. It was like, what, nigga? God. Lot was saying this place is going to be destroyed. It's going gonna, it's gonna to rain fire and brimstone. What? Yeah. So we're telling these people, guess what, man? That this place is going to be destroyed by ICBM nuclear fire. Who you call Jesus Christ, he's not coming back to save everybody. This is things that they, that, 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 that they can't going. receive. Right. It's, it's blowing their mind. God. America's gonna be a third world country. America is gonna be it's gonna be a famine here in America. That America? Famine? Right. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? This these are things that they, they, they can't fathom, that they can't picture. A race war in America? <laughs> Hold on, martial law. Uh, 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 what? A police state here in the land of the free? You see what I'm saying? Like oh, they, it, it, it's things that these people can't fathom. We're telling you what's gonna happen, man. Huh. I'm sorry, but they show you in that Arnold Schwarzenegger movie called The Running Man. The opening credits is that in 2017, uh, there's going to be an economic collapse. There's going to be martial law, and, and that martial law is going to, you know, be uh, containing pretty much America. You know what I'm saying? 
And they show you that all that's what. See, mm-hmm. the elites are subliminally telling these people, man. In all these movies uh-huh. before I was in the world, man, there's always movies about apocalyptic scenes and the, the collapse of society. The elites, they, they already know this place is about to go down, man. And they've been telling you in all these movies up until now, man. But the people are so dumb, that's why they can't get it, man. And, and every time you was, I would see, I speak for myself, every time I would see these scenes, man, I'd be like, damn, what am I going to do in that day if that happens here? But now we got the comforter, man. That's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to push the Lord's word so he can save us, man. But these people, they looked at that movie as, oh, that'll never happen in this place, man. <laughs> now it's, it's, it's evident that that's about to happen. And it's evident that the that the that the elite have been pushing this and, and subliminally telling you people that you finna die in this country, man. Through all those plagues and through all the famine and through all the chaos that's about to happen here, all the stuff they've seen in the movie that's about to be, is about to be real, man. That's why it says, like you said earlier, what manner of man shall you be? Because the only way out of here is through you, shot, man. There's no other way, man. And you gotta know him. And you know yeah. what I'm saying? You can't be calling on somebody else. You gotta know his name, the Heavenly Father's name, and and what pleases them, you know, yeah. especially Yahweh. That's right. Yeah, you know, I mean, if nobody has anything else, I can end it off with this one. No. Uh, this is uh, we'll back on that Luke, Luke seventeen, <laughs> now verse twenty nine. But the same day the lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven, and destroyed them all. It says, verse 30, even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Mm. You know, it's, it's the exact same thing, man. You know, you, you, you niggas, man, you, you fucking you niggards, you know, you, which includes you heathen and two thirds. You know, hey, y- 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 you guys are going to receive that great destruction. You know, hey, and th- this time hey, it's going to be by the MyCBM uh, uh, missiles. And by, by the fire uh, uh, that comes out of those chariots of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's right. You know? A great destruction, man. You know? You know, hey, hey, and, uh, and with that, you know, I hope you, you know, you know, brethren, were edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We're going to end it by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The whole honors to the apostles and elders of Yahshara, their will well. And salutations to you, brother, and out there in the highways and the byways, preaching this word in truth and in sincerity. Shalom. 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 Ba-ba. 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 Ba-ba.